In this video, we're going to focus on the ellipse shape in the annotation plugin for Chart.js. And basically, so far we've covered everything about the box, or at least most of the items here. And to be honest, many of these items here so far, this one I already explained these, and these are all self-explanatory. So border color, border width, etc., etc. Very straightforward here. Most of these things here as well are very straightforward. And I have a lot of respect for making border radius because it's quite hard to create a shape of border radius in a canvas. However, all right, so let's focus now on the ellipse. And the ellipse is basically, if you understand everything what I discussed in the box annotation, you probably will understand quickly here. So let's go here. And then here we have basically the same, but then instead of the type of uh, box, basically here, let's scroll down here in our code. We have here the type, which is the box. We will just convert it to ellipse. And when the moment we do this, you will see here, refresh it would change it into a oval shape an ellipse is not a circle it's basically an oval shape which look like a almost like an x shape and there you are so that's it and then if you look at all of these options here you will recognize that all of these options are quite similar if you go into configuration display draw time rotation is probably the only one that you don't recognize and this rotation is very straightforward where you can rotate it with the uh, rotation degrees and this probably is 360 degrees if I'm not mistaken here rotation is in degrees so 360 degrees would be the full circle all right so everything else here is as well straightforward another one here is the point annotation and the point annotation is basically a circle where you make a circle and this one has a few different items here so first of all let's convert this now into a point if I save this now, refresh, here we get a point. By default, the point is a circle with a radius of 10 pixels. And it grabs the x and y value that we have indicated here. However, the point does work with a certain other value here. It's, it has like a coordination. The x and y value is only a single value here. So let's remove all of these and we can just start to work on it. And we say x value. And the x value here is number one or if we ever would have, we could select here what we want to pinpoint. Imagine we want to go on here, so then the x value would be, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's go on this, number 5. So that's x value is number 5, comma, and then we have the y value, and the y value would be the value here. So if you want to put it in, well, where exactly, let's say we put it on 40, they would be here in the center. And we can say here, number 40. Comma, and if you save this and refresh, you can see now it's nice in the center on this specific line here. So if you want to increase the circle here, and to increase the circle, basically we have a radius value as well. So it doesn't show here by default, but if you look at it here, we have the radius. And the radius is basically the, the uh, size or how big the circle is. By default, it is set on 10 pixels. So if you want to increase here, radius and this is very similar to a scatter chart you recognize as well with the x y and r value and r is the basically the radius default 10 well let's make this uh 50 and see how this will look like comma here make sure you have a comma there then refresh and there you are so now you can see we have a nice larger circle here that helps you to increase of course to be honest i never use these kind of radius i think the most logical one here would be boxes and lines oval and uh points or circles have not real, real value here unless you're doing something really specific where you want to pinpoint something so that might be of course it depends on your personal preferences so all right so these are the most important one do we have anything else here that you should know well everything else we probably covered here in the next video i'll focus on the line annotation because the line annotation eventually is the most important one where we can include lines with text